Hey Clifford kids, it is dad, it is uh, Saturday, day off from work, had vacation yesterday, that was nice too, on my way to meet the Fife family, the Gregory family, probably not the BB family because they just had a new little baby boy, Robert BB, uh, yesterday, how exciting for that, <clears throat> um, so happy for Zach and Tiana and the BB family and Grandma and Grandpa Coom, just very cool for them and neat, neat thing. Um, Emma had her music class today, so that's uh, always fun for her. On my, so I'm on my way to church uh, at uh, every quarter or twice a year. Members of the <clears throat> congregation get asked to help clean up and uh, spruce things up. So it is the Clifford family turn to go to the meeting house and to vacuum and set chairs up and help in that regard. So certainly glad to help. It's always always makes you feel good to be able to I look both ways. <laughs> Always makes you feel good to give back, uh, help a little bit. Uh, there's always, always time to to help and to give back. Uh, been spending a lot of extra time with a new friend of mine. His name's Nick. Got himself in some trouble with the law. Now he's trying to do what is right get himself out of trouble so it's it's a pleasure to be a part of that and to be his friend and to watch him watch him grow and make good choices and to get himself out of trouble it's fun to be on the couch this morning with baby drew and emma watching cartoons boy emma's so funny the way she watches those cartoons and i'm sure i was the same way i remember do you guys remember when it was the like the Saturday or a couple Saturdays before school started and they had the new cartoons and they had like a preview on? Like I think they used to do like a whole Friday night preview thing of what was going to be new. Do you guys remember that? I remember just like making such a big deal. Dad, we can't go out. The new cartoon previews are going to be on. That kind of thing. Oh, we made such a big deal about the previews. Oh, there's going to be something new coming on. Made a huge deal of that, um, but Emma, it's she, Emma's big cartoon. She's got three of them: Mickey Mouse's Playhouse, Little Einstein's, Charlie and Lola. Oh, four, excuse me, and Blue's Clues. Holy Toledo! Steve can do no wrong in our household. She'll come downstairs with a binky in her mouth, and she'll immediately ask for either chocolate milk or juice, and some sort of cartoon uh, show, usually it's Blue's Clues, um, sometimes it's Charlie and Lola, uh, you know, sometimes she asks for Mickey Mouse Playhouse, but, and then Grandma and Grandpa Cunningham sent Emma a DVD set of all the animated Christmas movies that were huge when... Uh, when we were growing up. Frosty the Snowman, Heat Miser, all that good stuff. She loves that. She thinks that's so funny. The Winter Warlock. So fun. Tonight is the kids' big play. I can't wait. I heard early reviews uh, that it was fantastic, and I'm sure it's off the chart fantastic. I can't wait. I can't wait. I can't wait. Big play tonight. I love you very much, kids. I love you, Madeline. I love you, Clara. I love you, Tommy. Can't wait to see you tonight. Tommy and Madeline in the play. I love you, uh, uh, Baby Drew, and I love you, Emma. Now, Madeline, last night you called me about 10 o'clock and said, Dad, can you please bring me my sweatshirt? I, I just left the play, and she was down at Frank's Pizza, and she said that her costume wasn't very modest and that she uh, didn't feel comfortable being outside in it. I appreciate that. I don't I don't know what immodest really means with regard to a costume. But 
maybe she was just cold, but I appreciate her calling me and asking me to come and bring her a sweatshirt. I thought that was cool. Um, okay, Cliffords, have a great one. I will see you soon. Bye.